So there's a rule in a problem like this that I always want you to follow. And it's a rule that maybe not every student or teacher would agree with me on, but I think it's something that I have found has been really helpful for students to always kind of remember and rely on to be able to solve a system of equations efficiently. And the rule is pretty simple. All it really states is whenever you have an x with a coefficient of one or negative one, then go ahead and use substitution. Now, you could definitely use elimination for anything, right? You can use substitution for any system of equations. However, not always is using substitution or elimination always going to be the best choice. But a lot of times when I at least have a one or a negative one as my coefficient, it's pretty simple to solve for my equation. So let me kind of explain what I'm talking about. You can see in this top equation, Right, I have a two y plus x equals four. Now I could solve for the y, I could solve for the x, but you notice how solving for x is really, really simple, right? If I write it over here, to go ahead and solve for my x, all I simply need to do is subtract the two y on both sides. Now again, I can't subtract the two y from the four like to get a value, but I can go ahead and write a algebraic expression doing just that. Again, make sure I wrote a pop plus four because that's a positive four, right? So a lot of times, sometimes students will get confused, like where'd the plus sign come from? Well, that's a positive four, so I'm gonna write plus four. And typically we like to be able to write the variable in front of the constant. But if it wanna makes you happy, you could definitely just write it like this as well. Okay, so just wanna make sure we're clear on that. But the important thing is like, I just subtracted a two i on both sides, right? So if you can just follow this rule, like whenever you have a coefficient of one or negative one, you know, maybe negative one's a little bit, you know, here or there, that could be maybe definitely um, elimination might be a good idea. But when you have a coefficient of one, or especially if the variable is already isolated, you know, just use substitution. It's typically going to be the better and um, most efficient way to solve the system of equation. Because now what I want you to recognize here is x is equal to a four minus a two y. Again, what does that tell us when we're trying to do substitution? Well, what that is telling us is we can take that value, what is in for x, and solve it in for our x right here. So now what I can do is rewrite my bottom equation. Instead of multiplying the two times the x, I can multiply the two times the four minus a two y. So therefore I can write the equation now like this. And if I was gonna get a little extra fancy, I could go ahead and use the proper pink box. Now I don't wanna make a perfect box because I want you to understand this is still parentheses, right? So we gotta make sure we're going to distribute or multiply this two times both of these terms. But now when I go ahead and do that, I will now get an equation that I can go ahead and simplify to solve for a y. So you can see just by applying my um, distributive property, I was able to combine my like terms and get it down to a two-step equation where then I can just use my inverse operations to go ahead and solve for y, right? And therefore I got y is equal to zero. Now again, the nice thing that's so cool about this is once I know what y is equal to, right? Just like I did with this, the x, right? Where I found the expression that x was equal to, I replaced my variable x with that expression. In this case, I have a value in for my y. So now what I can do with this expression or this value, I'm sorry, is I can go ahead and plug that in to my value for y in this expression for x. And now I can go ahead and solve that. Well, two times zero is just going to be a zero. So therefore x is gonna equal a four. So again, please always follow the rule when you have a variable with a coefficient of one or negative one, use substitution and thank me later.